Hi, I'm Mike with Veracity, and I'm going to show you how to set up a docking station. Alright. So, unbox this guy here. Got some documentation. Power cord. Cable to go in the wall. USB C cable to connect the dock to the computer. The docking station itself. Okay. Right, so here are the primary um, ports and buttons that are on the docking station. We have the power button up top. This will also turn on your laptop if the docking station is connected to the laptop at the same time. We have a USB-C port up front along with a USB 3 and a headset port which will allow you to use a headset with a microphone attached as well as headphones. On the side here we have a lock connector for a Kensington lock, Kensington lock. Back here we have two USB 2.0 ports. The first set of display ports which are, sh which are shared. The second set of, of display output ports which are shared. Two USB 3 ports. A 1 gigabit Ethernet port. USB-C port that goes to the laptop that's being connected, and then the power cord port where the power brick for the docking station plugs into the dock. So this is a setup of the docking station with the cables it comes with. Start on the back, grab your power cord. This is the wall side of the power cord. This will Connect to your power brick right here. Power brick in turn plugs into the back of the dock here. Power port. USB C cables next. It's a little tricky to get open for the first time. USB-C cable it needs to be plugged into the back of the dock. If it's plugged into the front, it doesn't work. You also have this side of the USB cable with this adapter. This is only used in certain instances where you're plugging the dock into a non-compatible computer via USB 3, like so. Now that you have your dock plugged into the wall, you'll then get a little orange light up here showing that there's nothing currently connected to the docking station. When this is plugged into a computer, this button, the light on the button, will turn to white. Okay, so on the back of your docking station, we're going to continue working with that. You will have things like Ethernet, plugging to the one gig ethernet port there. Listen for the nice click. We'll also have your displays. This is HDMI. This will plug into one of the two display output sets. You cannot utilize these ports stacked since they will only output at one port at a single time. Our second cable for our second display is display port. And that one will plug in right here. And again, that one has a nice solid click once it's in. Lastly, we have the receiver 
for our USB keyboard and mouse. That'll plug in right here. At that point, your docking station is pretty much all ready for you to go. All right, now that you have set up your docking station, all of your equipment is plugged up, and your docking station is placed where it's going to be for the foreseeable future, you will add your computer to the mix. At this point, we'll grab your USB cable. That's going to be connecting the dock to the computer. And in this particular case, this laptop came with this docking station as a bundle. So that this docking station is compatible with this computer. This one cable will provide data and power to the computer, as well as all of your monitors, internet, everything like that. This attachment is only to be used if the docking station that you're using with the laptop did not come originally bundled. This will do everything for the data side of things, but it will not charge the laptop. It will only do data. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to our USB-C port on our laptop. Go ahead and power on our laptop. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you'll see your monitors starting to come to life. It may show up as duplicated, and I'll show you how to change this to an extended desktop once it uh, completes logging in here. All right, so now that we're at our desktop, we have all three of our screens going. You want to go ahead and find a blank spot on your desktop, and then right click, go down to Display Settings, From here we can see that it is duplicating monitors one and three. So number one is gonna be the laptop, number three is this guy right here. We'll go ahead and select one and three, scroll to the bottom, and then underneath multiple displays, we'll change this from duplicate on one and three to extend on one and three. down here you'll have to go ahead and choose to keep your changes if you don't click that it will revert it to the original settings and that's handy if say you set a monitor setting that is not supported by your monitors at that point you'll have black screens so about 20 seconds and it will go back to the way that it was previously if you're unable to click that button at this point we have all three monitors they're all going to be displaying something different but we do have to set up the arrangement of the monitors since the computer doesn't know where they physically are on your desk. So go ahead and hit the identify button down here. That will pop up a number on each one of your monitors. It goes away quickly, but take note of where they are. We want to make sure this here matches our physical setup. So we're going to drag number one down, number three this way, to that way. That's about our monitor setup here. At that point, we're going to hit apply and it will move the monitors around. So now, number three, oops, number three is over there, two is over there, and one is down here, exactly how it's in the picture. You can also do things like setting which is your main display with all your icons will be displayed as well as your start menu will open. Usually it is going to be the leftmost monitor but you can definitely pick whichever monitor you'd like that to be on. For this example we're going to pick number three and go down to the bottom and choose make this my main display. Then all of your icons will automatically snap to the monitor that is now the main display.